Hello everybody and welcome to The Sinking City, our detective adventure set in an open world Lovecraftian universe. In this video we want to walk you through a small side quest, but first a few words about the game. As some of you might know, The Sinking City takes place in the 1920s United States. It revolves around a private detective from Boston, Mr. Charles Reed. You see, Mr. Reed is slowly going insane because of certain events that happened in the past. Trying to escape the inevitable madness, the detective finds himself in the flooded city of Auckland, where people are even more desperate than he is. At a certain point of his adventure, Mr. Reed receives a plea for help from a local librarian, which brings us back to the demo at hand. So let's go inside and talk to the lady, although be prepared, Auckland is not your normal city. I got your letter. So, you wanted to see me, Joy? In my apartment. Again. Don't know what to do. What do you mean? Did someone break in? Were they threatening you? Yes. Her. Again. What did she want? Keep my mouth shut. Don't worry. I'll help if I can. So, where do you live? Here's address. Take keys. Thank you. I got this, Joy. Everything will be all right. Joy is one of the many people who have suffered the sad order of things in Auckland. As you play the game, you'll find that cruelty and tragedy go hand in hand among the locals. But I digress. Joy is asking us to deal with a stranger who has broken into her apartment. This is where our investigation concept kicks in. As you can see, no objectives pop up on our screen and our map will not tell us where to go either. But that cannot stop us from doing our job, can it? Let's open up our casebook. Here we can examine all the evidence that we find on our journey. We have Joy's letter, the key to her apartment and also the address. Let's use that to find the right location on the map. We can pin it as well to create a custom marker for our convenience and let's go. This part of the city is flooded and it's probably not a good idea to swim in these waters, so we will have to use a boat. Auckland is designed to be explored, but it's not always easy to get around. As we travel across the city, we can see the devastating impact of the flood and for some reason, the sea waters are not going away. So here is the right building. Looks abandoned and lived in at the same time. We can find some useful things here. There is a locked door as well, but our objective is on the second floor. This is Joy's apartment. No intruder inside though. Let's examine this crime scene. As a detective we can find a lot of clues and other useful information here. This thing is melted. There's no way we'll get any pictures out of this. Yeah, Joy loved her dog, all right. Remember, our hero's mental health is fragile. And when he sees something disturbing, his insanity comes back. Ah, oh, someone has real issues. Cancelled. But she was good enough to put on a show. Guess life took a real turn for you, huh, Joy? Ugh, someone's a real pro with a needle. Oh, Christ almighty. And still wet. Sure that's not a good sign. 
Now is the next step. Remember how a hero is having visions because of something that happened to him? This something also gave him the ability to see and hear things from the past. Let's check them out. Okay, it's her. It's really her. Proof! Where's my camera? Come on. Come to Granny, Papitia. Out, a stitch goes in, a nip of flesh, a tuck of skin. Oh, you'll be such a lovely dolly. Click, click, a visitor. Who's there? Now, to understand what happened here, we need to put these events in the right order. I'm guessing first this old woman took the dog and then killed it to make the doll. Come to Granny, Papitia. A stitch comes out, a stitch Jewish neighbor heard it and tried to take a picture of the intruder, but the camera click gave him away. I think we should check on the guy. Someone visited Joy's place, killed her dog, and sewed it into this... thing. Warning for her, I guess. The neighbors just got in the way. Ah, locked. Maybe there's a key around here. But where exactly is here? Thankfully, our hero has another trick up his sleeve, which we call concentration mode. We can use it to check for points of interest within the house. This ability comes in quite handy when stuck during the process of investigation and sometimes can reveal things that could not be seen by a regular citizen of Auckland. Well, that looks welcoming. These frightening creatures apparently came along with the flood. They usually attack the player in packs, since their abilities and behavior often synergizes with one another. Small Stygian harvesters are trying hard to distract the main character, while Revenant over there tries to land a painful ranged attack. Thankfully, if they bleed, we can kill them, although weapons and bullets are quite hard to come by, and this fight is surely gonna cost us. Now let's get back to using concentration mode. There is something weird about this box, and if we focus, we will find that this is just an illusion, concealing the key. And now we are free to enter the neighbor's apartment. So apparently the old lady that we are looking for is some sort of a local urban legend. Now let's go back to Joy and level with her. Just let me find the closest fast travel point. Moral choices, small and big, are a part of the sinking city. Some will have consequences. Others exist solely for role-playing purposes. I took a look around your apartment, Joy. It's not good. Your neighbors, they're dead. And let's just say it was not natural causes. Dead? Eagle and Tane, what do we do? You're keeping things from me, Joy. Now come on. 
I need to know what I'm dealing with. No, we'll make it worse. Granny Weaver, just tell me about her. Can't say, can't. She doesn't want you to help me. Why? My fault. Don't be angry. So sorry. Joy. Sorry. So sorry. Look, calm down. I'm not gonna leave you on your own. If you won't talk, I'll just have to work this out myself. Okay? Vera. Yes. Thank you. I... I found your dog, Joy. Where? She's okay? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm afraid you won't see her again. Okay. Poor Ginger. Now we need to do a little bit of research to find out who the mysterious woman is. Let's check what we call the intelligence system. It has the answer, but we gotta know what to look for. We have to select no less than three correct options based on a singular piece of evidence. For example, this clue tells us that a certain historian gathered information about her. So let's go ahead and select the history and author sections. For the last option I will go for region local, since granny is a local myth. Now we know who she was and where she lived. We should definitely go there, but I would hate to spoil the fun for you. So this is where we will wrap things up. If you want to learn more about The Sinking City, follow us on social media or visit our official website, thesinkincity.com. Otherwise, thank you for watching.
Yes, what is it? Mr. Reed? Mr. Reed, I'm sorry to disturb your rest. My name is Dorothy Evans. I heard that you were looking for a job. I have one for you. Depends on the kind of job that you're offering. My husband, Harry Evans, has disappeared. I need you to find him. That's something I can try to fix. A few questions first, if that's alright with you. Of course. Any idea where he might be? Does he have a favorite speakeasy? Well, he drinks occasionally, of course, but I don't know if he has a favorite bar. He's a fisherman. He has a cabin at Salvation Harbor, on the crossroad of Old Church Road and Fitz O'Callaghan Street. When was the last time you saw your husband? Two days ago. He went out fishing, as always, but he didn't return. I work for a price. What can you offer? My engagement ring is the only valuable thing that I own. You could sell it for a good price. It's solid gold, I swear. I'll take the case. And the ring. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Here, take this photograph of him, and please hurry. How's it going, Vic? Same as always. Rain, turmoil, and newcomers. Say, do you know anything about a fellow named Harry Evans? He's a fisherman. Another case of yours, huh? That's none of your business. So do you know him or not? Well, you just said it. It's not my business. Don't mess around somewhere else, and don't forget that your payment's due tomorrow. I'll get going. Whatever. Locked, just as I expected. Dorothy has a pretty smile. Silver watch. I'd take it if I were here to rob the place. Who drew this sign and why? The body is almost drained with blood. The head is missing, so I can't be sure if it's hairy or not. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
blood is relatively fresh, hasn't dried completely. Locked, just as I expected. This thick sackcloth is completely soaked with blood. Hello, Joy. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Have you seen a sign like this before? No. Check the books. Be my guest. Goodbye. Come back soon. What are you staring at? Good day to you too, mister. Do you know a man named Harry Evans? First, you gotta tell me who you are. Charles Reed, private investigator. Harry's gone missing and I'm looking for him. Reed, huh? <laughs> oh, I know Harry, yes. Hauled a lot of fish out of the sea. Do you know where he is now? Have you seen him recently? Uh, yes. I've seen him going inside the basement of the fish market. He could be hiding there. Why? Uh, I don't know exactly. I heard him talking a lot of trash about his insulators. Behind our backs. That sort of thing can get a man in trouble. Thanks for the information. You've been very helpful. 
<laughs> yeah, I hope you find what you see, newcomer. Or it might find you first. Sorry, Mr. Reed. I had no other choice. Uh -oh. 